you want to find your singing voice type. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find your singing voice type by first identifying your lowest singable note, followed by your highest singable note, and then we'll classify your voice as bass, baritone, tenor, alto, mezzo, or soprano after we apply the all-important Prima Voce. What's Prima Voce? Keep watching and you'll find out. Sound check. So let's dive straight in. To start, I'm going to show you the whole process using my own voice. Then later in the video, I'll be playing the keyboard notes so that you can identify your unique voice type. And just to make it super easy for you to jump around the video, I've added time code markers throughout the video to help you quickly navigate to the section you want to watch. And I've also created a free worksheet for you to download via the link in the description section below. It will help you keep track of the key data points you'll need to identify your voice type. And one more important qualifier as we commence. You'll only find this test helpful if your voice has already matured through puberty. I do not advise doing this voice classification test if you're 16 years or younger. This test identifies adult voice types. To start, I will sing from the middle of my range down to the lowest singable note. I'll be singing the notes on an R vowel and I'll sing the notes in a descending semitone pattern. One note at a time, here goes. Yeah. Take a breath. That's a G2. That's an F sharp 2. I'm going to give myself the G2 on that one. So that's my lowest note, G2. Let's now sing up the keyboard to find my highest singable note. And I want you to notice how I sing to the top of my voice, including my falsetto notes, starting on F3 and going the other direction, ascending. So that's one octave, I'm going to keep going up. give myself the A5, but only just. So I found my lowest and highest singable notes, but all this gives me is my vocal range. And that's handy to know, but it doesn't yet provide me with all of the information I need to identify my voice type, sometimes called voice classification. To find my voice type, I also need to locate my prima voce. If you're thinking to yourself, what the fuck? You'd be right, because that's precisely what we're looking for, your vocal fach. Linguistic fun aside, the German fach system of voice classification allocates 29 voice categories. An essential element of vocal fach is prima voce. Another term often used in place of prima voce is tessitura. Essentially, your prima voce, translated prime voice, or the tessitura of your voice, is that part of your voice that some singers call their sweet spot. It's the part of the voice, usually about one to one and a half octaves, about 12 to 18 notes, where your voice feels super comfortable. And the Goldilocks zone of the voice, if you will. Not too high and not too low, somewhere in the middle where the notes feel just right. So let's find my prima voce, those notes that feel most comfortable for me to sing. Now I want you to listen very carefully because it's not always easy to hear the upper and lower points of the prima voce. And this is because it's the combination of sound plus feeling that indicates the placement of my prima voce. Again, we need to do this in two stages. Firstly, I'll sing downward, starting a little higher this time on an A3. And I'll tell you when I start to feel my voice working a bit harder for the notes. Here we go. Starting on A3. Yeah. I 
reckon I started to feel it kick in at around about E flat threes. Let's call the bottom of my prima voce the E3. Now we're going to go looking for the upper boundary of my prima voce, this time starting a little lower on the F3 and going up. Here we go. Yeah. Give myself a breath. Yeah. I'd say that's about where I started to feel a kick in. You'll have heard my voice transitioning, but I didn't start to feel the work associated with that creating of that sound until I got to around about the A flat four. So I'm going to give myself the G four as the upper boundary of my prima voce. In the comments section below, let me know if you could hear the point at which my voice started to work a little harder. I'll be interested to know how obvious it was to you. I should also mention that the notes that sit on either side of your prima voce are known as your seconda voce, the secondary voice. This is not to say that these notes are inferior or unusable. It just recognizes that they don't sit within the most comfortable area of your vocal range. In many respects, the development of a great vocal technique will help you utilize your seconda voce more fully. In turn, giving you a more usable voice across your complete vocal range. But we cover that in other Voice Essentials videos, so I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in developing your vocal technique further. Now that I know my prima voce, using the free worksheet, I can overlay that on top of my vocal range to find my voice type. Before we do that, I want to first find the key markers of your voice. It's your turn to sing. I'm going to walk you through the four stages. One, find your lowest singable note. Two, find your highest singable note. Three, find the low point of your prima voce. And four, find the high point of your prima voce. Now, because this video is for all voice types, I'll be starting relatively high to find the low notes and equally low to help you find your highest singable notes. It might take you a few sing-throughs to nail down your exact markers. And don't hesitate to pause the video if you need to catch a breath. Starting on A4 and descending in search of your lowest singable note, here we go. A4. So let's find your highest singable note. We're going to start on C3. We're going to take it all the way up to C7. Here we go. And... Great, now let's find your prima voce. You'll start by singing down from A4, lower voices. You'll join in a little later as we descend on the notes. Again, it might take you a few tries to zone in on the point when your voice starts to feel less comfortable by working a little harder to make the sound. Here we go, starting on A4, here we go.
Okay, now let's find the upper limit of your prima voce. This time, high voices, you'll join in as we ascend in pitch. So lower voices, you'll start us off on C3. We're gonna take it all the way through to C6, starting now. You should now have four notes written down, your lowest and highest singable notes and the lower and upper limits of your prima voce. Using the free worksheet, let me show you how my four data points correspond to give me my voice type. My lowest singable note was G2 and my highest singable note was A5, essentially three octaves. But of course, that's not the complete picture. Let's overlay my prima voce notes to find my voice classification. My prima voce low point was E3 and my prima voce high point was G4. And when we line my four data points up, it becomes evident that my voice would be classified as tenor because my vocal range, G2 to A5, and my prima voce that sits rather high in my voice identify me as such. You'll also notice that my highest singable note, A5, was higher than the textbook tenor range note of C5. But this is because we included my falsetto register notes as a part of my vocal range. The reality is you're unlikely to get an exact textbook classification because every voice is unique, including mine. But this video is not about me. I'm keener to know what you discovered about your voice type. In the comments section below, let me know what this process identified your voice type as. You might recall at the beginning of the video, I mentioned the German Fach voice classification system has 29 categories. And I open the video by noting six generalized voice types, bass, baritone, tenor, alto, mezzo, and soprano. And more often than not, if you join a community choir or sing in a small vocal ensemble, the parts will be reduced even further to SATB, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. So to avoid oversimplification and also avoid an overly complicated breakdown, I've displayed the six generalized voice types on the free worksheet. I also want to point out that these six voice types are generalized. It's highly unlikely that your unique voice will perfectly fit into any of the six allocations. There will be some give and take. Another example, gentlemen, you might find that you can sing as low as an F2 and as high as a B4 with a prima voce that sits relatively high in your voice. In this case, you might classify yourself as a tenor. Equally, suppose the prima voce was to sit lower in the range. In that case, we might classify this as baritonal, maybe even a hybrid of the two, otherwise known as a baritenor, which we haven't nominated in this process. And ladies, some of you might find that your voice goes lower than the alto C3, maybe even down into the tenor or baritone bottom end range. When this is the case, these wonderfully low, lower female voice types are increasingly referred to as contralto. Admittedly, I use the term alto and contralto relatively interchangeably, but if you're seeking a more nuanced label for the extra lower female voice type, then contralto might suit. Ultimately, this is not an exact science, and I'm not overly keen to have you apply your findings absolutely. And I want to stress that your voice type can change, especially when we develop better singing techniques. It can also vary with age or present slightly differently from one day to the next. So you might like to consider coming back to this video a few more times over the coming weeks to see what the law of averages gives you. I hope to see you again soon. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.